but y'all see the material all right y'all already see what's going on so mm. all right you guys so welcome back to my channel i want to go ahead and do my first impressions on my sephora vib sale haul for you guys okay i'm not gonna say anything but y'all see the material all right y'all already see what's going on so Mm. but with that being said i am super excited for you guys to see my thoughts on all these products and if you're interested of course you guys already know what to do make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and let's jump into the video <laughs> all right so let's jump into these products i am so ready you guys it's been a week and a half of looking at them so just trying them out today y'all just know i am excited okay so i do want to go ahead and start off with um sunscreen this is a St. Jane Luxury Sun Ritual Pore Smoothing SPF 30 Sunscreen. Now, you guys know this is a primer and a sunscreen in one, so that's super exciting. Um, and I heard so many good things about it on Sephora, which is why I went ahead and grabbed it. So this is the packaging, y'all. It is stunning. I love everything about it. So let's apply this on the face first before our primer, all right? So I'm going to take a little bit and this is the color of it. It's like a yellow color, right? So let's see what this feels like on the face. Mm. Okay, it feels good. It feels really good. And you guys see how that just melted into the skin like that? That's what I'm talking about, okay? Because those I was about to say primer, but those sunscreen out there that give you that white cast, like, what is the reason? All right. This is more my speed. And I love the fact that it is tinted yellow. So that fits even better when it comes to my skin tone. So this feels so nice on the face, y'all. Like, it doesn't feel greasy. It feels very just buttery. I really like this so far. I'm going to pat this here. And then apply some on the forehead, of course, just a little bit. So even with the winter time, I still try to um, apply sunscreen because the sun is out technically. It just kind of hiding. So I do still try to apply some on the face. So this is what it looks like, y'all. Like it looks so, so good. So I definitely love that sunscreen so far is a 10 out of 10 for me so now we're gonna let this sit on the face a little bit before i apply my primer so while we do that i'm gonna go in with my slather by topicals exfoliating body serum this has retinol lactic acid urea squalene all the good stuff and basically it's supposed to help um give you soft skin exfoliate your skin smooth your skin all of that and today of course i decided to wear a long sleeve but we're gonna apply it on our chest area so y'all can see what that looks like. Now, if you watched my haul video, you guys saw that it comes out fast. So even if I try to do a little bit, the way they set this up, it's, yeah, it comes out really fast. So I just, <laughs> every time, it never gets old. It's just like, pew. all right, so we're gonna take this and apply it on the chest. And I cannot wait to put this like on my legs. I feel like it's gonna look so good um, and just so glowy on the skin. Like everybody um, that's tried this raves about it. So I just know it's gonna look good on my body. But in case you're wondering, it feels so soft. It really does make your skin feel like butter, smooth. Um, it just glides on the skin. So it is a body serum. So I believe it probably has a little bit of oils in there. Do you guys see how this is glowing when I turn? Stop. Okay. All right. We're going to have fun with that one. All right. When I put on my legs, on my chest, all of that, it's just going to look so beautiful. So yeah, this is this one right here. And you get a lot of products. You get about five fluent ounces. So this should last a good amount of time. I wouldn't wear it every day but honestly this is probably a body serum that i'll probably wear if i'm going somewhere nice and i want to look super glowy things like that i'll probably pull this out because yeah this is good 
I love this. So now the face should be ready for some primer. I have the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blur and Balm Powder for the face and eyes. Um, and I got this in the shade Translucent or sorry, Universal is the shade that I got it in. Um, everybody and their mom raves about this, okay? Especially if you have oily skin. Everybody was like, Chi Chi, you have to get this. It's so good. I'm like, okay. I trust y'all. I trust y'all. Um, so when I did go ahead and show you guys my haul and I just swatched it or felt it, it just feels really like balmy. You know what I mean? And that kind of scares me because like I told you guys, I'm oily. So um, I don't, I don't know. Things like that typically scare me. So this is what it looks like. It looks stunning. It is beautiful and it comes with a spatula as well. So let's open this and <laughs> we're gonna use a spatula if i can get it out all right so this is what it looks like i mean you guys can't see it it's just clear pretty much so we're gonna scoop a little bit of this like so and then whoa okay so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and then tap this on the face like that and i love the way it smells it just smells like fresh so it's gonna that just like this and it, it gives me like that elf putty feel which i told you guys scares me because um i don't like the elf putty one but this one kind of dries a little bit different it doesn't dry um balmy it kind of dries down so i appreciate that and i believe it's supposed to dry down to like a powder feel so we'll see once everything sets, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Just pat it into the skin. And I love the fact that like it blends right in because a lot of primers, especially for those who have oily skin, you guys know a lot of primers out there kind of leave a white cast. And this one just melts right into the skin. So it makes it super easy for days that I don't wanna wear makeup. I can just put this on my skin and, you know, still be good to go. So I'm going to let this sit on the skin just for a little bit before I apply my foundation. Um, but y'all can see it gives me a little bit of glow like on the skin, which I'm not mad at at all. Um, and it doesn't feel greasy. Y'all, like my skin right now feels good. Okay, so I'm happy. Um, but now moving on to foundation, y'all, this one. You guys were so excited for um, this one when I showed you my haul. So this is the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation Bra Spectrum SPF 20 in the shade Sienna, all right? Now, this foundation is something that I've always wanted to try out. I wanted to see, you know, if the hype was real. So I just went ahead and got it. I was like, you know what? We're going to do this. See if it's worth it. I'll let you guys know because it is not a cheap foundation like this is expensive so looking at it it just seems promising when it comes to my skin tone but i remember i have to go ahead and shake it first because it is super watery okay so let me give it a little bit of a shake and then we'll apply it um and honestly when it comes to the the shade range y'all is terrible i'm not gonna lie it's terrible all right so this one is the only neutral one that I felt like would work for me. So we're gonna apply a couple pumps, all right? And it's super watery, so I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like, but y'all can kind of see that right there a little bit. It looks really promising with the shade, all right? So taking my sponge, um, I was kind of going back and forth if I should use a sponge or a brush, but we're just gonna use a sponge because that's what I'm used to. I'm just gonna tap this all over not me smiling mm. so it smells like i don't know how to describe this it smells like an expensive skincare all right i don't know if that's the best word it's not perfume or maybe perfume but it has a little bit of a scent to it but it's nothing nothing bad but tell me why the shade is on point y'all tell me why the shade is on point stop playing stop playing because honestly this foundation was one of those foundations where like i didn't really want it to work for me because i'm like all right you know what? i tried it but i can you know get my money back if it's terrible but this is 
this is good oh my god y'all <laughs> stop because you guys know i love my dior foundation but this one here oh baby okay okay yeah this is stunning and it feels so lightweight on the face like based on how watery it was i was like oh it's gonna give me no coverage you know all of that but it really covers up a little bit of my scars on my on my chin so wow wow y'all i cannot get over this i'm like when we're talking about shade match y'all this is spot on like it makes no sense like they literally took my skin tone and put it in a bottle and there's no foundation out there that matches me like this except for the dior one that one is pretty close but this one i think is even closer when it comes to my skin tone and y'all just see how natural and radiant my face looks like what oh my gosh i'm i'm obsessed y'all <laughs> And this just blends into your skin so easily, you guys. Like, you don't have to put in any work at all. Just apply it and boom, right? It melts into your skin. Like, I see why, you know, people were raving about this. But, of course, I'm still going to do a weird test for y'all to see, you know, if it's good for oily skin. But I can already tell. It reminds me of my Dior foundation. So, yeah absolutely stunning i look like a glazed donut and i'm not mad at it like i just love how the skin is looking y'all like, look at that up close mm. all right so now we're gonna move on to bronzer slash contour i'm gonna take my hourglass espresso foundation stick just to add a little bit of color on the skin all right especially with the fall weather slash winter we be losing our color so i love bronzing and cream and all of that and we're just gonna blend this with the same sponge like so and below you guys let me know your favorite um actual you know cream bronzer out there because i use foundation sticks like i told you guys before i feel like they have more of a shade range but if you do have an actual cream bronzer that you love, let me know down below. And then to conceal my face, I'm going to take my Pat McGrath concealer and my Charlotte Silbury um, Beautiful Skin Concealer and mix these two on my face. Um, the Pat McGrath one's a little bit darker, so I kind of put this all over like so. And then forehead you know all of that and then i take the charlotte one and kind of just lay it right on top and then of course taking my good old sponge i'm gonna blend this in um and also i want to mention so i know all the girlies all right everybody uses brushes now all right i'm trying to be like y'all but there's something about a sponge i feel like gives me a flawless finish every time okay um but then i also see people do like a brush first to blend their you know cream products and then they go in with um a sponge right after so yeah i may do that moving forward because you know when you do use a brush it gives you more coverage whereas a sponge kind of takes away a lot of products so i may get into that we'll see So one thing I do before I completely blend the under eye, I kind of leave it a little bit still just to let it um, kind of dry up a little bit because it gives a little bit more coverage. So while it's doing that, I'm going to apply my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder in the shade Y505. Okay, what's new? Like, I've been using this for years. I know y'all tired. I know y'all tired, but it's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to take this just to set um the rest of my face before i set my under eyes with powder and it's still the best 
face powder out there in my opinion okay i just feel like nobody out there is touching this powder it does what it needs to do every single time so if you still haven't tried it out what are you doing all right <laughs> so now to set the under eyes i'm gonna first take my huda beauty easy bake powder and my puff over here to set the under eyes quickly before it you know creases um and then on top of that i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury airbrush brightland flawless powder to kind of brighten everything a little bit so that's like my favorite combo as of lately you guys because it just makes my under eyes look so bright and awake um so yeah and like i told you guys right after i'm gonna take my charlotte tilbury powder and just a little bit right there just to line my nose up and then i kind of bring it in as well so y'all can see just right away how much of a difference it makes compared to the other side okay i love this stuff and i told you guys um on my review video i didn't think it would be black girl friendly i was i was scared now all right because there's some yellow powders out there that are ashy on the face but this one is not like that at all it's very very flattering like i wish y'all could see the true color hopefully i can tilt it back here y'all can see it's super yellow so i really like it so you guys already know it is time to bronze all right we need some color on this face so i'm gonna use my charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in the shade tan number three and i'm actually going to use this morphe times jacqueline hill um brush their bronzer brush in the style what is this called jh02 um this i've been loving it's super fluffy it blends really nicely um, when it comes to my bronzer so i just use this just to tap it all over the face and like charlotte y'all this bronzer this bronzer i just I'm obsessed okay there's no other bronzer out there when it comes to powder bronzers that really just look so natural on the face like it literally looks like i went to the beach okay i always say that but it really does so we're gonna take this and then apply it on the forehead as well just to add a little bit more color and then to contour my nose, I'm going to use a Hoola Toasted by Benefit bronzer. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this because it's super, super pigmented to bring it down the side of my nose. And I honestly do ratchet contouring, y'all. Like some people take their time. They cream bronze it, then they powder it. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a little two lines and try to make it look decent <laughs> because... I just don't have it in me all right so we're gonna do this and it's so pigmented y'all like super super pigmented and just blend that out so i think the next step is set and spray so i have the charlotte tilbury airbrush Flawless Set and Spray Set. This is like their mini duo one, but I still have just a little bit left of my big one, so there's no need opening this one up. Um, you guys already know what it does, so we're gonna take this and just set the whole entire face. All right, now for blush, I don't have any new blushes that I picked up because I always buy blush, y'all. I have so much, but I wanna use the, let's see, rare beauty grateful blush which is a pinky shade one of my favorites all right so we're going to use this and i first like to apply it on the back of my hand that way i don't put too much on the face so we're going to use the morphe r46 brush and just kind of tap a little bit of that onto the face okay and i kind of tap and then swirl and this one, I think this formula is not their matte one. I believe it is their radiant um, version of their blushes, which is my favorite because you can take your time and blend it out. So we're going to do it like this and then kind of tap a little bit 
onto my nose and right here. I like that sunburnt look. And then the same thing to the other side. So moving on to highlighter, I got the Refi Gloss Highlighter in the shade Topaz, okay? So um, I believe Aaliyah's face was raving about this one, so that's why I went ahead and grabbed it. And even when I swatched it, it just feels really promising on the face. I just, I feel like it's going to look good, all right? I don't think I'm ready. So this is what it looks like for those who are wondering. Super cute, all right? And we're just gonna put some on the back of my hand. You guys know how I am. I like to control how much comes out. So let's just start with a little bit more than that. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna take my sponge, which is my favorite method of applying highlighter onto the face. And we're just gonna tap into this a little bit, kind of blend it out. And then let's put it on the face. So I'm gonna tap it right, okay, okay. Okay, all right, yep, this is it. <coughs> wow, y'all, look at that. I think I've applied, I applied too much, but this is beautiful. Oh my God, you can even see it like facing, you know, forward to you guys. So let me blend this out a little bit because I applied a little too much, but this formula, is so so nice it kind of feels like a bouncy creamy um texture just imagine that but it just looks good on the skin this is beautiful wow okay so we're gonna do the other side like so wow let me put a little bit more in the back of my hand i'm just really stunned i wasn't i mean i knew it was gonna look good but i didn't expect this color just looks so nice on my skin tone like that. Like this is gorgeous. And in case you are wondering, it has more of a champagne gold color to it. So on our skin tone, y'all, it looks amazing. So I'm just gonna put this there, blend it out a little bit. But yeah, you can go crazy with this. Like in the summer, I just know when the sun hits, it's gonna look so, so good. Wow. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Like, I'm... <laughs> y'all, I have tried a lot of highlighters, but none of them literally looks this stunning, beautiful. Like, even when you turn your head, a lot of highlighters will give you a little bit of a shadow. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. It doesn't matter what angle you turn your head, it looks good. There's no shadow, there's nothing. Mm. Let's get into the lips, all right? So um, I went ahead and lined my lips using my Beauty by Chi Chi Allure Lip Liner. Um, but for the lips, I do have the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Mini Lip Trio Kit. This comes with three shades in here. Um, I always try to find the names. <laughs> But it's always on the lipsticks themselves. So let's just let's just get in there. So I already swatched all three for you guys on my haul video. So in case you're wondering, you can go there. I haven't swatched it on my lips yet, but I already know like this shade is gonna look good on the lips. All right. So I think it's the shade Supermodel. Let me double check the other one just to make sure. I'm pretty sure it's Supermodel that I want to go with. Yeah, because Pillow Talk is the light one all right so this is the shade um supermodel it's your typical you know pinky brown lipstick okay these are my favorite type of colors so we're gonna take this all over and it's super creamy like really really creamy i thought these were like those type of glossy lipsticks remember when i swatched them i told you guys like they feel really glossy which i don't like but this is actually more of a matte lipstick with a little bit of creaminess in there. So I actually really like this. And it's so pigmented. Okay. So this is what the face looks like, you guys. We still got one more thing I want to show y'all. But come on. Come on. I... 
I gotta go out somewhere today then because I just wanted to watch some movies, relax, do nothing pretty much. But now I'm gonna go somewhere, okay? Because this, ah! I just, I, I, like, I love it. I love, honestly, every single product I've tried impressed me today. I am just, I'm happy, all right? So um, to end this off, let me make sure I use everything. Okay, so to end this off, you guys remember I got the Commodity Milk Perfumes. I got the Milk Plus and um, the Milk Expressive. So you guys know the Milk um, Expressive. I couldn't smell it. So we're gonna try this one first today, all right? Just to make sure I wasn't going crazy. And we're gonna spray it all over. And like I told you guys about this one, it has a very marshmallow scent to it. So let me see if it's still the same because I don't know, that day when I was trying it on for y'all, I was so confused. Okay, I can smell it today. I can smell it today. I don't know what was wrong with me that day. I swear maybe my nose was stuffed up. I don't know, but this gives very much marshmallow sweetness type of situation okay it's the, it's the type of perfume where like if i spray too much of it i may get a headache because it's super sweet but if you love scents like that then you're gonna love this one it is so sweet it smells good and it doesn't really have like that musk scent to it i really thought it would have like a like a like a burnt firewood like by the fireplace type situation scent to it but it doesn't have that it's just a sweet marshmallow perfume it's really really good okay oh yeah so this one i'm gonna use and mix it with other stuff i can't wear this one by itself just because it's too too sweet but it's stunning all right now you guys know the one that i loved was the milk plus because i love me a musky fireplace marshmallow type scent that is my favorite like my candles my body wash everything literally musk scented all right so let's get this one open i'm so excited for this one this one smells so good it reminds me of the killian um not the killian sorry the replica by the fireplace perfume um that one is super super musk but this one's a little bit below that so yeah let's spray this one all over mm. Mm. yeah so good these perfumes are just so creamy and i love the way they sit on the skin like they just smell so good and also like the initial spray is also different from the dry down so like the dry down i noticed when i did the haul for you guys throughout the day it dried down to more of a sweet scent with a little bit of musk right so the gold plus or the milk plus Right off the bat, it's like spicy, it is musky, it is all of that. But throughout the day, it dries down to like a sweet, musky scent. It is so beautiful. So um, you can't go wrong with either one of these. Just go ahead and try them out. Get the travel one before you buy the full size. Okay, so that's everything, you guys. I am obsessed with this look. I love how everything turned out. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, but yes, I got to go somewhere now. Okay, I wish I was going on a date. You know, that would be nice. But <laughs> um, maybe I'll just treat myself. I don't know. I love how I almost ended the video instead of telling you guys I'm going to do a weird test. Okay, so the video is not over. All right, so I'm going to do a weird test for you guys to let you guys know how this primer, foundation, all of this holds up throughout the day. Um, I'm going to go work for a little bit and then I'll be back in a couple of hours to show you guys my face. And just for reference, it is currently 12.56 right now. So we'll see what time I'll come back. Probably like five, six o'clock, just a couple hours. Um, and yeah, we'll see how the face is doing. So see you guys then. Oh, you guys, so it's currently 6.22 right now. And this is what the face is given. Okay, do you guys see this? The foundation, the concealer, just everything in general, I'm so impressed right now. And I keep looking at my face right here. But my skin looks so, so smooth. Slow, just like radiant. It doesn't look greasy by any means. I mean, I applied a little bit of highlighter. Okay, I, I went a little bit overboard. But when you look at my face, it's not like, oh, I'm oily. It just looks radiant. And I love it. Um, but honestly, this foundation is stunning. I see. Listen, I see why it's expensive. Okay, like where is it? Let me get it for y'all. 
I see why the La Mer Foundation is raved about. I mean, it's $140. Is it worth $140? I mean, I don't think anything should be that high when it comes to foundation. But is it good? Yes. <laughs> yes, I can't even lie. All right. Um, it looks so natural. Even though I'm wearing makeup, it doesn't look cakey. It just looks super skin-like and flawless. Like, I'm obsessed with all these products that I picked out. Like, there's nothing here that I hate or want to return. They're just really, really good. Okay? And then also the primer, the Vanessa Myricks primer. The oily girls are right. Okay? I am not a grease ball. Like, at all if you look away from all the places that are shiny which is where i apply the highlighter then you can tell like it's just the highlighter everywhere else looks good so all right so yes um 100 i recommend all these products okay um the foundation you know the what else did i use the highlighter the lipstick I mean, everything is so worth it. And I'm just so happy that I spent my money on products that are really, really good. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It is the weekend, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, lay on my couch, watch some movies, and relax. So before you do leave, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.